The state Senate has approved a controversial bill that would provide health care for undocumented immigrants regardless of their immigration status. Some lawmakers say that that bill will save taxpayers money in the long run, but others question if that's money well spent at all. Fox 40's Doug Johnson live for us tonight at the state capitol with more. Doug. Eric, 24 senators said yes, 11 said no. The vote was pretty much along party lines, but now some undocumented immigrants are one step closer to getting free health care here in California. Ice 24 knows 11, the measure passes. If signed by the governor into law, Senate Bill 29 will allow undocumented immigrants ages 19 to 25 and 65 and over to receive Medi-Cal benefits. They are contributing through hard work and they are contributing through $3 billion worth of taxes every year that we know of. The bill's author, Senator Maria Elena Durazo from Los Angeles, says the move will actually save taxpayers money in the long run. Since she claims state money has already been paying for undocumented immigrants' health care for years. We as taxpayers are paying for their care. The problem is we're paying for their care when they go to the emergency room, which is just to treat the symptoms. Emergency room care cost us far more than preventative care. But before the bill was voted on, some lawmakers question if it's money well spent. From a budget perspective, that cumulatively, this could be very difficult. Show favoritism to people that are not here legally at the expense of people that are here legally. Senator Jeff Stone from Temecula made the argument the money should instead go to another group in need. But in California, we have 10,000 homeless veterans. And in spending a billion, instead of spending a billion dollars on people that are not here legally to give them health care, we should be taking that $10 billion and as a first priority, take care of those 10,000 veterans. And this bill is still far from a law. It still has to pass on the assembly side. Then lawmakers have to figure out exactly how much funding they're going to give it. Then it goes to the governor's desk, and he may or may not sign it. Reporting live from the state capitol tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Doug, thank you.